Hello, how are you? This week we decided to do a Q&A video and we're doing this because Hannah has stopped feeding Rufus, not stopped feeding Rufus, she's still feeding our child. She stopped breastfeeding him, she stopped giving him milk via her a bosom and when a lady stops breastfeeding it causes a crash in oxytocin levels so your hormones tend to go a little bit a little bit haywire and also i'm having a bit of a creative crisis at the moment which has led on to an identity crisis and normally with said crisis i would just go out and buy myself a new pair of trendy boot cut jeans or perhaps buy some new kitchen where we don't re really need from La Crux or something. But it turns out buying and renovating a house, well, it's, it's financially decimating. Uh, uh, so I can't buy myself out of this crisis uh, this time. So it felt like the Q&A video was where we needed to take it this week. So I hope you don't mind. Apologies if we didn't get around to answering your question. Um, we only had a limited amount of time and some of the questions were really shit. So uh, yes, anyway, I hope you enjoy the show. Okay, first question is, does it worry you putting your boys on YouTube at such a young age? Having a parent who has passed away, I would love to have a bank of videos of my mum and I mm. that I could just dip into whenever I missed yeah. her. And I just think one day they're gonna they're gonna love that they've got that, mm. even if it's not online any longer and they've just got it like, I don't know, however it will be in the future. I just think that's, that's such a nice thing to be able to, to hear your parents' voices and, mm. and see their mannerisms and... You know who they I don't were. know, it's just, it, I yeah, it's quite a sentimental thing to me. I think it's 90% what type of parent you are to your kid. Regardless of the children's situation, like rich, poor, wherever you live, it's the parenting that's, mm. that, that's the important thing. What type of parent are you and how you treat your kid? When are you moving? So excited about renovation videos and renovation Instagrams and renovation <laughs> blog You're posts. So into it. I've like literally got lists in my notebook on my desk of what I'm gonna put on shelves in which rooms. Like I'm yeah. such a geek. I, I think if I wasn't doing this, then I'd want to like retrain as an interior designer. Yes. Um, we're going to be covering a lot of interior stuff. The best thing about it is like every house we've lived in, we would change so much of it, but we've never been able to because we've never owned the house. Mm. I've just realised that we didn't actually answer the question of when we're moving. Before we move, we need to make some changes, big changes. Things like fit a new kitchen, a new bathroom, lay flooring, painting, lighting, tiling, decking, plastering. You get the idea. So hopefully it'll all be finished in a couple of months from now and then we can move in. However, as Hannah said, we'll be visiting the house most days and taking you through the whole before and after renovation process which we are very excited Maybe about was it hard getting a mortgage considering your income isn't fixed yes uh, yes it was <laughs> it came down to the fact that we had to go to, uh, to and use a mortgage broker a really good guy actually I'll link him down below in case anyone's looking he's to get a mortgage. So nice. he's a and lovely guy called Joe and he, um, he really helped us yeah I don't think we would have known what we were doing otherwise no. like he just kind of took the reins and yeah. was like right guys you need to do this and I'm gonna help you with this and mm. he was just great Grace and Rue have got a sudden interest in the big cameras much yeah. Much to Daddy's dismay. Hiya. Hiya. Hi. Hiya. What time does a cow pee in its pants? I don't know, Grayson. What time does a cow pee in its pants? One hundred minutes. you have for somebody who wants to start a YouTube channel I think my, my tip would be just do it now just start now yep. don't make excuses don't um, don't overthink it just just pick up a camera and start doing it it's like treat it like a, like an instrument like you don't just sit down and play Tchaikovsky on a piano straight away like you it takes years to learn it and it's like that with making videos it's a long process of learning so don't expect 
to to watch something back and be like, this is you. I'm amazing. It never happens like that. Your first videos are always also to expect watch. to watch yourself back and be like, oh god, I hate myself. Why am I so yeah. annoying? <laughs> Would you ever let Hannah do a voiceover? Hannah I hates doing I absolutely hate with a passion doing voiceovers. I have such an appreciation for people that do voiceovers in movies and on t TV series and like audio books and like everything because it is a craft. It is. You don't just say, you're just talking to a so microphone. It is so hard. When I listen back to the first, audio, the first voiceovers I did, God, they were so bad and wooden. And I'm sort of getting it now. I'm sort of learning. Do you remember when you used doing. to lock yourself in the cupboard in yeah. our old flat to do them? Yeah. <laughs> Does Grayson ever picks up on your swearing? We do occasionally let the the, the odd <laughs> swear word drop, but Grayson, I think he's really good. Like he, My he God, won't he's swear. Amazing. Yeah, he, he knows, knows. He, in the same way he knows not to get his pen and start drawing over the walls. He knows not to say rude words. He yeah. just knows it's not allowed. He says like the f word. Yeah. As in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he as in he doesn't I actually say, say no. No, no, you say fur. You, you say it. when you, when somebody says it, like if someone says it at school and you're telling us, you won't say the word. You'll just say they said the f word. Yeah, the fur. No, word. I said fur. Yeah, yeah fur. f word. What do you feel the biggest disadvantage is to being a YouTuber? People being mean. Mm. But then now there's no comments. Yay! So I'm like, yay, I can be a dick and no one can even tell me that I'm a dick unless they go over to my Instagram and tell me I'm a dick. I, I think the stress of trying to make something credible as well is, is, is quite a disadvantage, but yeah. You are not in my good books today. Waking daddy up two times a night in a night is not a good idea. It gives you a very grumpy dad. <laughs> but you did that. 10 year plan, sell want feed, uh, pay back all the investors. Um, get a dog. Get a dog, write a book, make a TV show. What are yours? I don't know, I haven't thought about <laughs> the next 10 years. <laughs> oh, Uh, uh. <laughs> Can we kiss it better? Uh, plans on more children. I would like to stop at two. If they legalise CRISPR, like where you can like choose sex, I would definitely do it and oh, I'd have a baby so girl. Oh, so many people are going to hate you for that. Why? Why? Because it's like ethically like... What? Not good to do that. Why? Who says? It's just not. Who says it's, it's not? It's like a... Yeah. I'm not choosing like like their IQs. I'm just saying like, I, would just, I, I would choose a girl. But, but while we're there, while we're there actually, yeah. 15 pounds extra to do, choose the to bump up the IQ, I would definitely do that. I'm not ethical, so fine. That's all right. I, I'm happy to, I'm happy yeah, to do Yeah, I know. I think two is a good number for us. I feel like I'm done with two just because I don't really, I thought I would, but I don't really have like this massive burning desire to have a girl. Can you tap it down? Tap, tap. Do you ever feel pressure to keep producing better, uh, high quality YouTube content? I'll leave that to you because I never do because I always put <laughs> shit stuff on my, on my YouTube and I'm like, ah, oh, this'll I, do. <laughs> I feel so much pressure that I sweat in the night, I have palpitations, I like have anxiety attacks, it it's sometimes spirals into depression. Yes, I feel a, a ton, a ton of pressure. Yeah. A ton of pressure. Do you want to hang out with me tonight? Yeah, let's just chill tonight. Let's just watch something on TV. Uh, what creators inspire you? I don't know. <laughs> I, for my stuff, I really like Kate Moraine. I love, I love her style and I love how she films and I love how honest she is. She's exactly the same off camera as she is on camera, which in this job, sometimes it doesn't happen. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Um, mine is... Yes! Um, it really my, annoys Steph when I do that. Mine's currently... Yes! Um, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Waller She's um, a, uh, a playwright, an actor, um, a writer. She wrote uh, Killing Eve and... That, Fleabag. And that new show Fleabag that we've it's just got to start getting into. It's two seasons. Yeah. It's not new. Well, I don't know. In the grand scheme of life, in the existence of the universe, it's quite new. Oh, you want one of those? <laughs> Are you looking forward to jiu-jitsu later? No. No? No. Shut up, yes you are. No. Yes you are. Oh, you just farted on me! Oh my god! Get off me! Stop it! Grayson, that's gross. <laughs> he's doing it on purpose, he's squeezing them out. Mama! Oh, oh, oh you're very really thirsty. Here's my big drink. Please. Only if you kiss me and tell me how much you love me exactly. I love you so much. How much exactly? One, two, three, one. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, baby. Why don't we talk to Zoe anymore? Well, I just want to firstly say that I have no problem with her. She is. I think she's great. I think she's lovely. I think she's funny. She's got a dark sense of humour when you meet her in person. She's really sweet. I've got no problem with her whatsoever. But um, I, we went to one, her, the screening of one of her brother's films, which, looking back, like, wasn't for me. It was for, like, nine-year-old girls. It was not for me. Um, and I watched this film and got really drunk. And somebody said to me, what did you think of the film? And instead of being polite and being like, oh, you know, it wasn't really for me. It was, you know, more for nine-year-old girls. I kind of said what I thought. Um, I said it was so bad it made me feel physically sick. But that person told her I think and then she got really upset with me as you would do somebody dissed me <laughs> if my sister made a shitty film and she dissed it I'd be I'd be pretty annoyed I shouldn't have said that I was a dick for saying that but that's fine it's uh it is what it is you know that's like, what you think it is maybe she just doesn't like you as a person yeah she could be that she could just dislike me <laughs> the thing is with you is that I think we're both quite similar we've both got like a bit of a dark sense of humor and if you don't have that then we're dislikable completely yeah yeah <laughs> It was an idiot, I was an idiot for saying that. I shouldn't have said that. I should have kept my mouth shut. So that's, that's the issue that happened. That's what happened there. But yeah, anyway, moving, moving on. Meh. <laughs> Hannah and I are having a bit of a meh week, afraid. I, I, I wanted to go into this <laughs> video being like, hey everyone. Meh. How is it all going? Crazy week here for the Mitchell Axe. But we're both just like. I think mine's breastfeeding, mate. Because of my hormone breastfeeding. Yeah. And I, I haven't actually Googled it, but I don't really want to because <laughs> I'm, I'm scared that the worst is still to come. <laughs> Am I allowed to just go, meh, in no, your face? <laughs> please don't. <laughs> that makes me feel better. But, um, <laughs> I love getting all up in your grill sometimes. Yeah, you do, don't you? I've got to go and get Lord Grayson a drink. I've got this thing with that uh, crazy anxiety at the moment where I'm waking up at uh, like three and four in the morning, just sweating like crazy and having these panic attacks. It's crazy. I don't know what's going on. Probably related to buying a house and all the changes that are about to happen and, and stuff, I reckon. Um, but I just get really worried about everything. Like, everything's a concern and a worry. Yeah, I don't know what it is. When do you think YouTube will turn the comments back on? I don't know. They, they, they don't communicate with us. They don't ever speak to us. We, have, we used to have a contact at YouTube, but then they just dropped us. Um, we, we have no idea if or when they'll turn them back on again. This is, which is why we're putting all our stuff up on Facebook now. Because that way you can comment. <laughs> How did you cope with sleepless nights with the kids? We used to, well, I was breastfeeding for the, like, completely solely for the first six months. So I would do, like, all the night feeds, obviously. And then after that, we did a combination of breast and bottle. So we used to take in turns at night. So one night I would do it and the next night mm. you would do it. It wouldn't matter how many times you had to get up. It would just be one night on, one night off. Because we both work from home, both work for ourselves, we could do it that way and it worked for us. Yeah. It's only a temporary thing, you'll get through it. Like it lasts about a year, it's year weird and a half. It's because now, like, I, it feels like so long ago that Rue was like teeny, teeny, tiny. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it feels like, I kind of remember like the sleepless nights and how like hazy I felt, but like your mind, maybe as a woman, like your mind just blocks that out and you're like, you see a tiny baby and you're like, oh, yeah. I want another. <laughs> right. But then you're like, no. <laughs> Sorry for complaining. I know people want the videos to be all upbeat and like happy, happy and um, optimistic and, and stuff. And when they're not, people hate them. So it's, it's hard because I don't want to be disingenuous and 
pretend that everything is a hunky dory when uh, when it's not. I think um, anyway, you know what I mean. My phone's ringing. I've got to go. Uh oh, it's my mega boss. Domalicious. What have I done wrong? Right, we're going to wrap it up there. Sorry if we didn't get around to your question. Um, we answered as many as we could. It wasn't very quick fire. We're not very good at quick fire. Yeah, we're not. Um, Sorry. But thanks for watching anyway. Sorry this video was not up to our normal standard of stuff, but you know. You just, need to relax. I need to relax. I need to relax <laughs> somehow. But uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, if anyone's got any like tips for relaxation in men. I'm already on CBD oil. That seems to be having a little bit, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you all. See you all probably in the next couple of weeks because we're away. Do you away remember when we did the Aaron week. Carter rapping video? That was my favourite video. Yeah, you are rose tinted. I think if you go back and watch it now, you'd be like, oh, oh, was it really bad? Embarrassing. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, um, we're away next week, so probably a video won't be going up next week. So um, we'll see you in a, in a couple of weeks' time, no doubt. Um, thanks for watching. Crazy thanks little for getting to the end. party girl. Thank you for watching our butts. <laughs> I don't think he <laughs> Look, can you see you? Can you see Rufus? <laughs>